Hello, this is Krenstar, and today I'm in Z Rhythm. Rhythm? Uh, it's a open source. Um, uh, oops. Open source uh, DAW that uh, pretty much is like um, uh, Bitwig and or other Ableton type of of setup. So it, it looks somewhat like this, which kind of has the Bitwig stylings, the, the color scheme, the tracks in here. There are some differences on this, or I actually say a lot of differences on this. Kind of kind of weird-ish. Eh, maybe not weird. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Um, but uh, yeah, I could probably get used to this after a while. Um, but it, it, uh, it has uh, ability to do... Uh, BST two, three, and clap plugins. Um, yeah, you can download it here, zrhythm.org, into into uh, downloads. Uh, here is where they got the pricing structure. Um, I'm right now using the the free up to 25 tracks, um, but I guess that you can buy the unlimited tracks for $11 for a single version. If I'm reading this correctly, I've I've this is the well. I heard about this on on Reddit. Somebody posted about this, and I decided to to give it a look on on video. So I'm 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 really doing this blind. I haven't I don't have any experience with this. Uh, I figured I'm just gonna try it, and and hopefully my experience will um, either um, inspire you to take a look for yourself or uh, convince you that it, it's, it's probably not done cooking yet, I guess, I don't know, this is open source, by the way, um, you can get to the source here, and then, um, in here, and the tree, and then actually, like, look at the source code, um, so it, it's, it's, uh, um, pretty cool as a programmer to be able to get in, get in here and look at how it's going, uh, the prices are kind of cheap, um, so, like, bundle, I guess, is $28 for this, and then, like, $40 a year. Definitely cheaper than, um, some of the other bigger, bigger, uh, b bigger boys. Um, at any rate, this is the interface. Uh, normally in Bitwig, you double-click, and you'd create a MIDI track of some sort. I guess a create object. Oh, there you go. Kind of weird. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, there we go. Drag it. I think control helps. Oh, this is a chord track. The chords. So basically, the chords are down here, and I guess you can um, do the chords that you need to. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. It's got a probably what uh, um, key I'm in. And the scale is an a Aeolian, I believe. So kind of cool. Um, don't know how I'd use that. Um, no normally, what you would do in Bitwig is you'd take it, um, drag the thing on. And add it to the bar, but it uh, probably need a. Kind of cool. Um, but I do know that you can add a new MIDI track here. Let's add our VST onto there. Nope. That set the color. Um, you can right click, say add to project. Boom, you got your project. I already got your, your hat on. Ah! That's probably got cut, cut out again. Add the region. Oh, look at that. Piano roll. Boy, this needs some help. 
There we go. Give it um different patch. That's pretty cool. Probably because I extended the initial... Probably it would have been smarter if I had read the the manual, a uh, user manual. Um, but I like messing with stuff. Uh, getting first, uh, basically the um, uh, intuitiveness of it. I did the same thing with Bitwig, Bitwig, and and reason I didn't do it on video, but um, basically I, I did the same thing. Um, got velocity for it. I think there's a there it is. That's probably why. Kind of hard to see. Oh, that's a D4. Well player zoom original size adaptive keep offset. Remember how you add something to this chords track or is it just Oh, you send it That's kinda cool. Alright, alright, right, right. right. I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So, um So on this this chords track or the this chords MIDI, um, will send uh, these. You can have it route. It looks to the uh, to the surge or whatever where you whatever you have, and um, go there. So if I want to add, um, uh, stage seventy three for Maturia. <laughs> And I want the chords to, to sh go out. That copies it. That's cool. Um, and then you can... That does that way. Oh, it shoveled down shift and it does it. Okay, so so basically the 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 getting around it is, is kind of clunky at first, but after a while it, it makes sense. Um, it looks like it has MIDI sends, MIDI inserts over here, so that I can add in stuff like Supermassive. Nope.
Did I just break this? No. It's inputs on the MIDI. Yeah, I need to spend more time with this. This thing is really, uh, yeah, scripting interface. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. UI is kind of cool. Um, although I'm I'm expecting dragging and dropping. I guess. But it doesn't look like that works. Sorting, MIDI modifiers, modulators. I guess there's no modulators got loaded. And then... Collection, call browser, so you can get the, um, get your samples and stuff like that. Uh, monitor selection, chords press, preset browser. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm uh, assuming that these are the chords for the popular dance tune. Let's put it on something else. Doesn't like it. Oh well. Um. Categories. Author Aturia, all the Aturia plugins, but it looks like all my plugins are, are missing. What about protocol? Uh, it supports clap. Uh, LV2, VST, VST3. Um, why is it not showing, showing my plugins anymore? Interesting enough. Kind of a weird little little die. I guess. I guess. Uh, basically, given some more time with it, you could probably prove better. But it 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 just it's a uh, it's rough. Um, coming from from another one and just expecting certain things to, to work and or happen. Um, again, I probably should read the um, the user manual uh, before I before I <laughs> go and play with this. But I, I wanted, to, like I said, I wanted to um, get kind of see how how using it within the first five minutes of of downloading it and playing with it. I how far I can get. So far, kind of kind of useful as another another dog, but. Um, I, I probably need to spend more time and get a little bit better because I still don't understand how to how to route in effects. I'm a plugin browser, that's drag and drop, but I don't see where my plugins are anymore. They kind of disappeared. Okay, well, I'll uh, I'll uh, kind of give it up. I I did find um, speaking of Bitwig, I did find a 
project on GitHub, uh, somebody posted on, on uh, Reddit today um, that they were able to get some spectral, sp uh, not spectral, harmonic split. Uh, through the JS plugins, the, the, so I did a I did a um, thing on Reaper, and the, one of the things I love about Reaper is the J, JSFX plugins. Uh, so they have a project that exports that, and you can take any of the JSFX plugins, um, from Reaper and stick them in Bitwig. It's pretty cool. So I can get my avocado ducking glitch in Bitwig. Um, and be able to, to do that. The only problem is, is there's a mismatch between the ports or something, but, um, hopefully without too much fanfare, I'll do a video on it next time and, uh, uh, show it off because, uh, because it, it works. Um, it's just the, the, um, additional outs, the chains for the additional effects don't work really well. Um, but, uh, check, track, track. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit it messing around. Uh, wanted to, wanted to show it, demonstrate it, and see see basically to to play with this. But anyway, um, I know it was kind of kind of kind of uh um, anyways, kind of kind of a weird um way of going through this. But but uh, it, your your probably experience is probably gonna be about the same. Uh, I do suggest probably if you're if you're in the market for other DAWs probably download this and play around with it a bit um who knows it, it may get better over time at least keep an eye on it um reaper has, has been in development for a long time by the people that made winamp um and winamp was a really awesome um mp3 player back in the days uh so reaper should have been and is good um this one not so bad uh as a as a developer i can appreciate the c plus plus coding um or the C coding, uh, getting in there, um, changing code around, trying to fit things to, to how it works. This this core this core browser is kind of something to to keep an eye on later, I think. Um, just the just the it 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 looks like it looks like Bitwig, so I want to use it like Bitwig is kind of throwing me for a loop. Uh, so you know other than that. Uh, so anyways, hope you liked the video, uh, and I'll catch you next time.